In this video, we are going to discuss the causes, clinical signs, diagnosis, and treatment of acute gastritis in dogs. Acute gastritis occurs when the stomach becomes inflamed. Inflammation of the stomach makes this organ less able to handle food and water. The stomach produces acid and digestive enzymes that begin the breakdown of proteins and fat, so when the stomach is inflamed, these processes are disturbed. The most common cause of acute gastritis in dogs is dietary indiscretion. By dietary indiscretion, we mean that the dog is eating something that does not agree with it or is foreign to the stomach. Some parasites of the gastrointestinal tract and drugs reactions can also cause acute gastritis. Bacterial infections are extremely uncommon causes. Some drugs used to treat cancer can lead to acute gastritis and nausea. The most important clinical sign of acute gastritis in dogs is vomiting. Vomiting is the forceful ejection of food or fluid through the mouth from the stomach and proximal duodenum. A sick dog vomiting can be caused by something as simple as food disagreeing with the dog or a stomach virus or by a more serious underlying illness. For the purpose of clinical diagnosis, vomiting due to primary gastrointestinal disease usually localizes the problem to the stomach and small intestines. Most owners confuse coughing and regurgitation with vomiting. For that reason, direct observation of the clinical signs combined with a complete physical examination are the primary ways for a veterinarian to differentiate vomiting from coughing or regurgitation. Acute gastritis in dogs develops rapidly. Your dog may appear normal in the morning yet have frequent vomiting in the afternoon. Loss of appetite is common, and some cases develop a mild fever. If there is excessive loss of body fluids from repeated vomiting, signs of dehydration can be seen. Affected dogs sometimes show signs of pain during abdominal palpation. Acute gastritis is not the only cause of vomiting in dogs. Many other diseases, particularly of the liver, kidneys, and pancreas, can lead to a sudden onset of vomiting. For this reason, your veterinarian is likely to recommend blood tests to make certain these other diseases are not the cause for vomiting. Blood tests are also useful to determine the degree of dehydration in the patient. Some of these tests can be done quickly in the hospital setting, while other tests must be sent to outside laboratories. The presence of a foreign body, such as a toy, bone, rocks, coins or pieces of a string within the gastrointestinal tract can also lead to vomiting. Typically, routine abdominal radiographs are recommended to look for foreign bodies. In some cases, an abdominal ultrasound or other diagnostic techniques, as per example endoscopy, may be recommended to look at sections of the gastrointestinal tract that may be obstructed or moving abnormally. As long other diseases have been ruled out, the treatment of acute gastritis in dogs is usually uncomplicated. The disease is typically self-limited, that is, the clinical signs usually resolve quickly, and supportive treatment is all that is necessary. The stomach usually needs a period of rest to allow the inflammation to settle down. Withholding solid food for a period of 24 hours allows the stomach to rest. Medications, given either by mouth or injections, are often prescribed for 2 to 3 days to stop vomiting and control nausea. While off solid food, most dogs still tolerate liquids. It is important that adequate hydration is maintained, and if your dog cannot tolerate liquids your veterinarian may recommend giving subcutaneous fluids. After a period of rest, food is gradually reintroduced. It is best to start with a low-fat, relatively bland diet. Commercial diets specifically made for gastrointestinal diseases may be recommended, or your veterinarian may suggest recipes for homemade diets. Dr. Fenneke preferred homemade diet is one base on boiled ground turkey and rice. Small meals are given over the first few days, followed by a gradual return to the dog's normal diet over several days. Dogs suffering from severe dehydration or loss of electrolytes such as sodium or potassium may need to be hospitalized and given intravenous fluids. The use of intravenous fluids also allows the use of antiemetics and other medications given by injection into the foreline, which helps if the dog cannot keep oral medications down. If all clinical signs resolve within 24 or 48 hours as most cases of acute gastritis do, there 
may be no need for specific follow-up veterinary appointment. If vomiting has not stopped completely within 3 to 4 days, if your dog becomes increasingly lethargic and has no appetite, if vomiting becomes more frequent and no liquids are kept down, or if blood is seen in the vomited material, you need to contact your veterinarian for further assistance. The prognosis for recovery from acute gastritis is good, with most patients showing complete recovery and return to normal within 3 to 4 days. If you like our video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel.